attribution model. Everybody works differently. Uh, Google's default is last click. Um, I tend to use uh, time decay um, because if multiple ads have shown um, to the same person and then they've uh, converted, then every ad gets a little bit of attribution. But some uh, customers or some clients prefer the first click. So, for example, let's say a locksmith or a plumber where you only or where someone only sees that ad only once and then you attribute that uh, conversion to the first click and not to anything else so you can uh, but the last click is the worst one in my humble opinion so i never use that time dk now this conversion or the call tracking conversion tracking is the easiest one in the whole of the google ads account to set up because once you've done this, that's it. You don't need to even put up any tags or do anything in Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager. That's it. It's done. It says you're done. All you need to do then is when you go into your campaign, you just select that conversion from that ad. So I'm going to go into one of these ads. So you put your country name in there from this drop down list phone number verification and final URL and then conversion action so you make sure that from the settings and the cam campaign settings the call reporting is turned on and then from here you can see that this is the one which I had set up because usually Google's uh, default one will be like something like this so I want to set this up and now it's all set up save it and you're pretty much good to go and your call tracking will track your calls then the other one is calls from website so what happens when someone clicks on your ad and comes through to your landing page now with call ads they don't come through to the landing page you they click on that call button the phone will start well it will give them the prompt to dial out uh, using your phone number but when somebody clicks on your ad actual ad and they come through to the website then what Google is going to do is is going to uh, use a Google call forwarding number uh, through to your uh, website and it's going to track it and that's for how you will find that calls from your website as well the only thing you'll need to do is you'll need to set up that call tracking through ideally through google tag manager mm -hmm.